Happy Hour is here. After a 39-year ban, Hoosiers can now enjoy after-work drink specials, and few places will be better for that than Broad Ripple Village. So that's why I have Jordan Dillon with me this morning. She's the executive director of the Broad Ripple Village Association, and margaritas are her drink of choice. Good margaritas. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning. Yeah, and make sure I don't want that tahini on my rim, okay? I need salt <laughs> on the rim. That's the only way that I'm going to drink it. Good tequila. I always say no antifreeze in it. I want, like, the real <laughs> lime juice, the real deal. Is the tahini only used when they're trying to mask some terrible flavor, like <laughs> throw some capsaicin on it and just... It's possible. I mean, I'll get a spicy mark every <laughs> once in a while, too. And I think they try to... They put that on the spicy mark because people like the, the smoky taste that goes with it. But I'm... Give me all that salt all day long. Jordan, so we're here to talk about, well, happy hour, I guess, in Broad Ripple Village. And I guess there's a thing going on, a cool thing going on in Broad Ripple Village to make it the place to be. Yeah. First of all, I mean, like, yeah, wow, happy hour. We actually have this. I mean, I, it's it's exciting that um, the state has decided to, you know, allow us to uh, have happy hours again or ever. Uh, we're excited about that in Broad Ripple, just giving everybody another opportunity to come out before dinner, right after you get off work, enjoy uh, the village. You know, one of my favorite things about Broad Ripple Village is all of our open air bars that we have and restaurants where they're going to open up the windows, enjoy a drink or two with your coworkers, have an appetizer, and then head home. Or maybe you stick around and have dinner somewhere. I can only imagine what uh, things would have been like. I mean, I've got kids now, and so I don't get out nearly as much as I used to, but I've spent plenty of time in Broad Ripple Village. And if happy hour were around then, I bet I'd have a few more good memories to share. Uh, <laughs> but good thing, better late than never, I suppose. Why are we looking specifically? I've heard that Wednesday is the night to come out. A lot of our businesses are going to be focusing on bringing kind of their best happy hour specials on Wednesdays. Middle of the week, we've made it through the roughest part, hopefully, and we just have Thursday and Friday ahead of us. So I think I think Wednesday is going to be a great fit for us. We have bars and restaurants that will have specials and happy hour specials on every day of the week, I'm sure. But we're really trying to push for Wednesday and make Broad Ripple really the spot to be for Wednesdays. Good margaritas are your thing. Whiskey's my thing. So I like uh, I like going to the mine shaft. They got a good selection there. Where do you go for your margs? Oh, it depends. I mean, you know, we have a, a lot of great, great restaurants in the area. Cholita's involved, and they're working on some of our happy hour specials. So I know that they will for sure have some margaritas on there, if not all the time, definitely sometimes. And they can consider this my request to make sure that they have those on there. Um <laughs> Yeah, I love those. Nothing is nothing beats a, a Long Island at Kilroy's, you know, and plenty of beer specials. And actually, we've Center Point is a location in Broad Ripple now. So there's a lot of great places that are also locally owned and operated, only found in Broad Ripple Village. And that is the charm, indeed, of Broad Ripple Village, places you'll, you won't find anywhere else but Broad Ripple Village. Uh, Jordan Dillon is the executive director of the Broad Ripple Village Association, and we're talking Happy Hour, which has returned to Broad Ripple Village. And uh, we're so excited to have you and so excited for this news. Thank you, Jordan. Yeah, thank you.